Yeah, so guys, I'm sharing with you eight truths that you need to know before you come to China. Or we can just turn it over and say that eight truths that nobody tells you before you come to China. And uh, it's going to be transformative, informative, and it's going to help you to make your best decisions. And um, if you're actually taking a, an opportunity, a job opportunity, a schooling opportunity, any sort of opportunity, please these truths are going to be right there in front of you. You're going to face it and you have to deal with it and really be up to it. If, if you're not up to it, please, um, I think uh, another choice would be the best for you. Yeah. So let's start with truth number one. I would say that don't come to China if you are a lazy person. If you are a lazy person, and I, I mean, nobody's going to brand himself or herself as a, a lazy person. Nobody's going to say that I'm lazy. But if you know deep within yourself that you have issues with, you know, going the extra mile and uh, do the doing the extra work and, you know, putting the extra shift, putting in the extra shift, then I believe China is not for you because this great nation, anything that you see, and I mean, there are people that have very low or, you know, very little opinion about China and they don't know what is really in this country, but this is a grand country. It is a massive, massive country that, you know, aside the corona that came in and everything, you, you should have seen it in its full glory. It, it's massive. It's superb. It's great. Fast paced society, a progressive society. Things are just popping up every single day you see new things new buildings scrapers to the highest level you see uh, new opportunities new buildings new companies new setups everything is fresh and new and they are always indulging on the frontiers of things and china is a huge 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 huge, huge country and uh, it was basically it is and it's obvious it's built out of the sweat of the people that put in the work it is it is what it is because others have seen it that way i've seen to it that it's that way uh, we all have evidence and if you ask anybody that has been in china or is in china you know sometimes you just walk behind a block and you see the place is you know all caged or fenced around and uh, you're wondering what's going on there you just come back around maybe three days four days and you see a huge building built from the ground high up in the skies you, you wonder how it was done and it was out of the fact that the workers or the people that are paying attention to that and doing it give it their maximum best they max it all out they, nobody jokes around here and it cuts across all facets of life it cuts across all areas of indulgence and engagement and human activity and work in every office in every company in every institution that you, you you're going to find here people go there and they sweat it out China is not a place for jokers. It's not a place for lazy people. It's not a place for uh, people that are looking to, you know, find their, themselves to ease around things and to, you know, uh, there are people that like to coast, you know, <laughs> pretend to be doing things and, yeah, get paid at the end of the day. You are never going to get paid if you pretend. And you, you can't even pretend here. It, it's going to be obvious. You're going to be seen. You're going to be caught. China is a place for hard workers. And which is why the country has gone on the highest trend and it's all it's on on the up and up you know which is why the country is you know joining the big guys and then you know you know the top the top eight countries that are really the world and china was built on tough 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 hard work and you have to put in the work 24 7 and it cuts across all sorts of life if you are the person you are the kind of person that you know likes to you know, coast through things and just sit around and wait for things to come around this is not for you this is not your china this is not your place i think you should find someone two if you have problems adjusting to rules or living up to rules that are being made every single day then don't come to china there is a very common phrase here in china it is the law cope with it deal with it this is the law it is the law and you don't ask, but why? You know, no, they, they tell you. Mayor Wenty. Mayor Wenty. But Weshema. Mayor Weshema. But why? Why is it like this? You, that's the law. And I sincerely, personally believe this is what has kept this country on that sort of level of peace, tranquility, safety, as I have found it to be. 
and and honestly uh, china is is a place that i recommend to everybody and i talk to everybody and i tell everyone that it's a community it's a it's, it's a it's a country that creates a society that everybody can fit in and live in it's quite peaceful in every suburb neighborhood every district you find that the place is so peaceful and it's it's tranquil and um, it's it's safe for you to live in china and it is a place that has been what it is you know because there are rules that keep things in place there are rules that stop things from going out of hand there are rules that have to be made to cap things that are getting out of hand and that's china rules are made to p- keep people in check and to make the society quite easy to run so if 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 you're a person that has issues with you you have issues with the law and uh, abiding to laws and uh, you you always question laws and everything and i know people have problems with you know living in a community where it's uh you know it's a communist system but i think that i think the communist system works specifically because it's custom made for the chinese and it works for the chinese i am not in any way sharing my opinion on that saying that is the best or not but it works here because uh, we've come to live in it you know you can drop anything around here in china and leave it go anywhere forget it you go you return back and find it right there i believe it's because of the you know the 200 million eyes of china which is the cameras that are in every corner that you're going to find but it's also because the country is in check and there are rules that run the country and the rules are solid and we wake up every single morning to new rules i personally don't have any problem with that i don't see why somebody will have a problem with that but yeah that's others you know um people sometimes normally (laughs) they have issues with things but if you have problems with rules and coping with rules and waking up to a new rule that you have to adjust especially the issue is not the rule but the adjustment of it because maybe one is made today and tomorrow it has to be changed there is a quick delivery of this information and everyone from all the hierarchies from all the uh, you know the leaders anybody that has to obey this rule and it goes through the ranks down to the lowest person and everybody has to obey it and there are no questions about it there are no agitations there is no fight there is no asking why it should be done and you know it should be done this way and i believe normally before these laws are made it is thoroughly thought through and um they consider so many factors so most of the time it's right there on point and it keeps this country in check china is a nice place to live and it's because of the rules it's because of the laws if you have a problem with the law or problem with rules china is not for you number three this is quite interesting but one that i really want to share because it's uh so dear from me and uh, so dear to my heart and that is if you really 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 want to live comfortably in china and grow as much as you're going to grow and get all the experiences that you're going to get and uh, find opportunities as much as are there and available for you to get the number three thing that you need to know is that when you come to china you need to learn the language the mandarin the chinese language i can't tell you enough of how powerful it is for you to learn this language i think we all know and uh, from facts uh, i've actually not done the checks that much but i know that china uh, the chinese language or the mandarin has joined the top three languages that is the most expensive languages to be learned in 2020 and uh, i mean as the country grows economically and uh, we see chinese economy you know shooting up to the highest level and that has brought with it the importance of this language china is doing business with almost every country on the face of the earth and it has called for people that are ready to indulge with this country to be able to speak the language when you come to china it is very important for you to know the language i i I won't sit here and say that it's a make or make or break for you and that if you don't learn the language you're not going to live comfortably here of course Um, most of us have lived through it and um, have survived I actually have a video that I'm working on that I've actually called my biggest regret and it's only one thing that I'm going to talk about in there and my regret is that I did not learn the language as much as I want I came with a great level of enthusiasm to learn the language I actually started learning in my country before I came to China uh, but for some reasons I got here and I started my you know engagement with my research 
and um, it, it was taking almost every bit of my time and that's what i told you about hard work and i needed to put in the work that is needed right from the off and uh, that meant that i need to make sacrifices i'm going to tell you about the sacrifices that i made you know in life you pay the you pay you pay price right uh you pay a price for almost everything and the price that i had to pay was sacrificing the language now i sit here and i can tell you that i can speak a passable level of the language i can you know engage in my daily activities to get certain things from the grocery store or from the supermarket i can go buy stuff i can do you know i can speak the language to a certain level but when it comes to the point where you want to delve into deep conversations with people and really engage with people and try to know them more you know just digging deep with uh, you know when it comes to conversations or to talk about some topics that would be very important especially for business for education whatsoever it is that is when uh, you know I realized that I'm lacking a bit and that is because I made a sacrifice I sacrificed learning the language if you are coming to China or you are in your country and you've you actually study in Mandarin please learn it I actually I'm actually going to share a fact with you and I think I'm going to share it on the screen uh, even though I don't have it now but I'm going to share a fact with you and I'm telling you how important this language is and you're going to see it like um, how much you can accrue or like you can make if you learn the language you know in 2020 or you know in, for the past decade or so the language has become very important one of the most important languages because China has tend to be the factory of the world and the factory of the world has meant that there are many countries that are engaging with China and engaging to the point that you need to speak the language for you know conversations and exchanges when it comes to business or whatsoever you're trying to do with this country and that has made the language so important for a student it's much more important for you to know the language for a business person you need to learn the language you need to know the language you need to actually get to the point where you can conversate with the people you are dealing with you know for, with the factories with the companies whoever you are talking to and i mean for people that are looking to have friendships and make friends i can't tell you about how important it is for you to speak a language and make a good friend the language and make a good friend here you know um you go to a social setting and uh, you go there and you can actually speak good english I can tell you for a fact, Chinese are eager to learn the language and they are actually eager to learn English. And so you go there and they want to speak English with you. But what you get to a point where like, OK, none of you, you know, could could talk further because you're, you've all gone gone beyond, you know, your level of, uh, you know, um, learning of the each other's language. And that is basically the exchange of English and Chinese. And you come to the point where you have you really have to conversate. And if you cannot speak the Mandarin because I think he's not going to go the extra mile. That person is not going to go the extra mile. And if you cannot speak Chinese, I think it's your block. And for people that are seeking opportunities, you come here and you're looking for opportunities, you know, in different places. And uh, you really want to, you know, engage with people and find opportunities. If you can't speak the language, it's going to be the hardest thing for you. So for you to increase your odds in China with anything, uh, be it study, be it a business opportunity, be it work, be it whatsoever it is learning mandarin it's going to be important and watch out for my new video that i'm working on on my biggest regret here in china and it's about the mandarin learn the language Jidama. okay four this is quite controversial but you need to know this if you believe quite easily and you don't take the step to verify any information that comes to you you're bound for trouble in china I know it's a very long bullet or like uh, you know point but if you believe easily and you don't verify or double check certain things that are you are being told by basically a chinese or a chinese counterpart or chinese business partner or anybody that is giving you an opportunity if you believe quite easily and these are truths that somebody needs to tell you and i'm not tainting any image i am not really you know um slandering anybody but what i am doing is that i'm telling you for a fact that you you will always need to do a double checking if you are taking a big step that it requires big investment of whatsoever sort that you are going to put in if you're going to put in so much into anything and um, it's going to be with a chinese please verify everything do the double checking do the due diligence before you believe and you take that step because um chinese are very ambitious they want to do things but sometimes they go ahead of themselves and what i can tell you is that please 
please do double checking if you really really want to come to china to do something great something big something that is going to be very helpful for your own future and your own um, aspirations in life be a person that does the due diligence and does the double checking verify things cross check things over again read three times four times the document that have been sent to you and please that's what i can tell you that's my f- <laughs> number four bullets that i can share with you on truths that you need to know the, the fourth truth that you need to know before you come to china five and maybe this is going to demoralize people this is going to make 